Welcome back to our channel, where we explore the wonders of the universe and beyond. Today, we have an exciting topic to discuss, the TRAPPIST-1 system. Get ready to embark on a journey to one of the most fascinating discoveries in astronomy. I'm your host, Raju Online, and this is Raju Online. Let's dive in. A PPIST-1 system has caught the attention of astronomers around the world. Imagine a star 40 light years away from Earth, surrounded by seven rocky worlds. Some of these planets even live in the star's habitable zone, where conditions could be just right for life as we know it. Thanks to the incredible James Webb Space Telescope, we now have a chance to study these distant worlds like never before. Scientists have been eagerly watching the data on TRAPPIST-1c, the second planet in the system. It was thought to be a Venus-like world, but what they discovered was truly amazing. In a new paper published in Nature, astronomers revealed that JWST failed to identify any trace of a thick carbon dioxide atmosphere on TRAPPIST-1c. Dr. Laura Creedberg the director of APEX at the Max Planck Institute for Astronomy expressed her amazement at JWST's capabilities, saying, We are truly entering the era of rocky exoplanet characterization. TRAPPIST-1b, the closest planet in the system, was also studied earlier this year. Given its proximity to the star, it was no surprise that JWST found no atmosphere at all. However, the search for weather features continues. The Hubble and Spitzer Space Telescopes have previously observed all the planets in the TRAPPIST-1 system, but with JWST's infrared capabilities, we have a powerful tool to identify molecules like carbon dioxide, oxygen, and methane. This opens up the possibility of unraveling the mysteries of their atmospheres and compositions. Let's take a closer look at TRAPPIST-1c. This planet orbits its star at a mere distance of 0.16 astronomical units, finishing an orbit in just 2.42 Earth days. Although it is slightly bigger than Earth, its density suggests a rocky composition. JWST's measurements of 15 micron mid-infrared light emitted by TRAPP. IST-1c suggests the presence of either a bare rocky surface or a very thin carbon dioxide atmosphere. Sebastian Zieba, a graduate student from Max Planck and the first author of the new study, expressed his excitement, saying, We want to know if rocky planets have atmospheres or not. With Webb, we can finally start to search for atmospheres dominated by oxygen, nitrogen, and carbon dioxide. To gather data on TRAPP, IST-1C, the team used JWST's Mid-Infrared Instrument, MIRI, on four different occasions. By comparing the brightness of the planet when it's behind the star to when it's beside the star, they could measure the amount of mid-infrared light emitted by the planet's day side. The amount of mid-infrared light emitted by a planet is directly linked to its temperature which is influenced by its atmosphere. Carbon dioxide gas specifically absorbs 15 micron light, causing the planet to look dimmer at that wavelength. However, clouds can reflect light, making the planet look brighter and masking the presence of carbon dioxide. Additionally, the presence of an atmosphere would lead to a transfer of heat from the day side to the night side of the planet, resulting in a lower temperature on the day side. Given TRAPPIST-1c's proximity to its star, it's thought to be tidally locked, with one side perpetually bathed in sunlight and the other in eternal darkness. The team's results show that TRAPPIST-1c either has a bare rocky surface or a very thin carbon dioxide atmosphere with no clouds. If the planet had a thick CO2 atmosphere, we would have noticed a shallow secondary eclipse, or none at all due to the complete absorption of 15 micron light by CO2. Furthermore, the absence of a thick, CO2-rich atmosphere on TRAPP-IST-1c 
suggests a relatively volatile, poor formation history. This finding has implications for the possible habitability of the other planets in the system. The amount of water present when TRAPP IST1C formed is estimated to be less than 10 Earth oceans, showing a mode of planet formation that isn't highly water rich. This raises questions about whether TRAPP IST1C formed similarly to the outer planets in the system. But the fun doesn't end here. Later this year, researchers will perform a follow up investigation to observe the full orbits of TRAPP IST1B and TRAPP IST1 Tiasi Bulaki. This will provide further insights into the temperature variations between the day and night sides of these planets and possibly reveal their atmospheric compositions. So, make sure to stay tuned for the next thrilling data release as we unlock more secrets about the TRAPP IST1 system and the prospects it holds for life beyond our solar system. That's all for today's episode. We hope you enjoyed this exploration of the TRAPP IST1 system. If you did, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more captivating content about the universe. If you have any questions or thoughts about today's topic, please leave them in the comments below. We love hearing from our viewers. Thank you for joining us, and until next time, keep looking up.